All right, all right, all right, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you tuning back in. We're back for a third video in a row, trying to stay consistent. Mike, with Mike's help, I think I'll be able to be a little more consistent. But on this video, we're gonna go back over the Mustang. I haven't done it in a while. There's been a few new things that's been added to it. And uh, I don't even think I ever went through the trunk setup with you guys, so I wanna make sure you guys see the trunk setup, the interior, to give it, to, give it a view of the engine. All that's going on with the car, I'm gonna give you guys an overview. But first, we gotta pull it out. It's tucked way back in the back. It gets put in storage because I don't want it to be dirty. But first, we gotta get it out, let's do it. But yeah, we gotta move the Audi out the way. I think the Lexus is good where it's at. I think the truck's good where it's at. And then we'll get a cold start on this thing and hopefully it still works. And then we'll pull it out and we'll go over it. We'll take it somewhere, maybe try to get some rollers, it's beauties. We'll go over it, let's do it. Turned on. It'll start. It'll start. TPMS sensors, I got active TPMS sensors on this thing, so I can read my tire pressure every time I start it, saying that the right side's low, so we're gonna fill up the tire and then we'll uh, take it somewhere and we'll go over it. So, I've already done like an update video on this current setup and how it sits, but I've added a few things since that video and also that video was kind of trash. But yeah, so this is the update. Where it sits, uh, full spec list, front wheels are uh, 18 by 11 and a half, rears are 18 by uh, 13s, and I'm running probably 18-ish front camber, about 14 in the rear. So if you got a Mustang like mine, mine's an 02 Mustang, 99 to 04. If you got a Mustang like this, basically everything I'm about to say is something you're gonna wanna look into if you want it to sit like this. For the front camber, I, I extended the lowers, I slotted my strut towers, I slotted my actual hub mounts, my knuckle mounts, and I extended my tie rods. For the rear, I did get an IRS swap. There's a video I did on it back in the day. We'll drop you, the link below. We'll drop the link. But for the rears, I extended the lowers and I had to extend the axles. But that's basically what you want to do to get the camber. I got 235-35-18s on an 11 and a half. For the rear fitment, I got 255-35-18s on the 13 wides. And that'll give you about, uh, I don't know, give it give or take an inch of Sudani is what I'm running. So if that's what you're into, that's what I did to get the camber and the fitment. But as far as the rest of the car, my boy Taylor wrapped it, my buddy Mike behind the camera. He did all the body work on my fenders. I've explained all that in previous videos. But if you want to follow either of those guys, I'll drop their links below in, in the uh, description for their Instagrams. They both got pretty cool cars. Mike's Miata, Taylor Supra, you guys can check them out. Taylor's also building a BMW right now, so stay tuned for that, that'll be sick. So I basically covered like everything that I've done to the car pr prior to that, but something that's new on the car. The rear window spoiler, we added the rear window spoiler. It took a while for me to get it put, put on. We wanted to body work it and get it all clean. And uh, 
by the time we wrapped it, it put it on and I was just, it looked amazing. So I was, I was actually kind of mad that I didn't put it on sooner. But something else that we put on are the clear tails. I got them from eBay. I wish I could drop you guys the link. I think they discontinued them, but I would drop you guys the link. It was on eBay. Uh, I think they pop up every once in a while. It depends on who's making them. They show up on for sales and stuff. And also, I didn't show you guys the trunk setup before, but I have updated the trunk setup. Shout out to Dead on Alex on Instagram. He's the one that I saw do the uh, do the drawers like this. These are functioning drawers. I got all my cleaning supplies and everything in there. Got the sub mounted. Got the sub mounted in the floor. I threw some carpet in there to kind of hide any imperfections in the flooring. Because if you got a new edge, you know that these kind of are have wavier floors. Carpet helps hide a lot of that. Drawers are actually useful. So I used the drawers, threw a couple pillows in there for decorations that shows, and that's actually my trunk setup. It's actually a really clean trunk setup in my opinion. I got my compressor mounted behind everything. I have an amp for the sub mounted behind everything and the tanks mounted on top of the drawers to hide everything. So I'm really happy with how it came out. Again, shout on shout out to Dead On Alex on Instagram. He's the one that inspired me to do the carpet and the drawers. Something else I don't think I've touched on in a while because it's actually not done yet. I still don't have rear seats. I need to dye the leather on the rear seats, but I added a tanned interior swap basically. Street arrow steering wheel. I went with the black suede and a likewise weighted shift knob I love it kept the manual set up in there because I had drilled into the center console and it's just four switches so it kind of looks cool gives you that kind of a what do these switches do uh, thought process so I left them alone something else I've never really touched on that if you want to look if you want it to look like mine you can is I got 5% tent all around and a 20% full windshield so it makes it basically a blackout you can't see inside of it I love that look with the black and for engine work I get asked all the time, what kind of engine work do you have done? And truthfully, I don't have a lot of engine work done. It's basically a stock 4.6 with a cold air intake and a two-step. That's basically all I did to it. I wanted it to run good and, and stay running good. I attempt to make it as reliable as possible, but it still comes with its problems and we just live with it. But it's stock for the most part. I didn't do anything crazy flashy and looking nice and all that because I just don't want to mess it up. But yeah, you guys, I just wanted to do a quick video this week. I didn't want to do something long. We're kind of getting into the pattern of actually uploading and making videos more consistently. My buddy Mike's helping me with the filming. Taylor's helping with driving and doing some rollers and stuff. So we're trying to implement a little more type of creativity into the videos. But just for now, as a consistent basis, I'm just trying to get into the pattern of uploading. And uh, along the way, we'll try to get better at making content and creating cool stuff for you guys to watch. But for now, I just wanted to give you a quick update show you what's going on with the Mustang. I haven't done a proper update. I did like a selfie video vlog the first time. It was a bit choppy, it wasn't very informative. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what's going on. Everything as it currently sits that's been added, I'm excited about it. I wanted to give you guys a chance to see what's going on with it, know what's going on with it. I would drop links on things, but my tail lights are discontinued. Uh, the roof wing, I forget where I got it. Um, and the wheels I just got off of like VR wheels. So it's just, it just kind of luck of the draw when they post and what they have for sale anything that I can I'm gonna link down below um, if you want it that's what you need to get if you want camera on this type of platform that's what you need to do uh, IRS video swap like I said we're gonna put that link in the bio go check that video out if you're really interested in IRS swapping these so you can get some camber and then yeah bags are just airlift performance and that's pretty much it you guys Thanks. But yeah, and I just want to give you guys that update, give you guys some info, that way you guys can get it to sit how you want, based off of what you take from this. Hopefully it inspires you, hopefully you build something dope, I hope to see you guys out there. And that is the next game. I'm a catch a case mask on, or the mask off. It don't make no difference, cause I side with the
pat your pants. Mm -hmm. You patch a couple holes in your pants. I think you paid four hundred and twenty-two dollars more. Four hundred and twenty-two dollars. I wouldn't put it past. Brother. <laughs> Thank you, brother. <laughs> Hello, brother. <laughs> Thank you, brother.